Hey guys, I'm alive. <laughs> um, sorry I've been away uh, for so long, not that there's many of you anyway, but um, I just had a, had a couple of health things going on, um, which I could get into later if anybody's curious, but um, mm -hmm. no big deal, I'm still here, still alive. Um, got a couple new things that should be kind of fun. Um, you can't see them. I have a little snowman here, new mic. Um, my bunny's here with me now in my apartment, which is kind of cool. And this is her big, big ass cage behind me. And she's in here roaming around somewhere. Um, and actually kind of funny. So I went and got these new, I guess, you know, joystick tabs for my Xbox controller. Um, because about a, f a few months ago, I've been playing with I've been playing with my controller like this, if you can see it. It's all chewed up from her, um, which has been really fun to play with. It actually kind of hurts my fingers. <laughs> hey, so I'm um, just sitting here, I'm kind of I'm watching Gilmore Girls. Um, and then so, I oh, need this. Um, so I'm, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a little bit just a little bit of an actor, um, and I haven't had a job in a while, um, an acting job, you know, because of COVID, um, among other things. So um, I have to try to get myself to actually apply for jobs, and I've just been so um, tired and exhausted. Like every time I come home from work, I just lay down and I just you know, veg out in front of the TV for, till I fall asleep pretty much. Um, so today I'm just trying to keep a very low key, low stress, um, and trying to like ease up a little bit, but I'm going to go through like, um, me applying for acting jobs, see what's kind of out there. If anybody else is kind of in, oh, I hear, oh, there she is. Oh, wait, can you guys see? You can see her, you can see her. Wait, wait, where is she? There she is. <gasps> Mia. Mia. There she is, there's the little bunny. <laughs> oh, stretch. Oh, stretch. <laughs> there's my little bunny. Um, uh, but yeah, if anybody else is like in the industry, um, kind of cool to, you know, see what you have to kind of do. So, <laughs> um, so I just applied um, for Backstage, which if you don't know what Backstage is, it first started as a magazine. Um, and when I used to live in Palm Beach, I used to have a client and he'd bring me the Backstage magazines every week. So he was a major actor. Um, he worked on like General Hospital. He was a head actor on that show as like the, I don't know, the head of the hospital. Um, he was also on, uh, what's that show? Uh, with Larry David. I can never think of this, this damn show. I'll think of it later. Um, and he was in a couple episodes of that show. Uh, I hear him digging. Um, and he'd every week he'd bring me in the backstage magazine and I'd go through the roles if there are any in the area or any I could travel to. Um, but since I've moved over to Tampa, he's not here to bring in my magazines anymore. So I just subscribed um, to Backstage Online um, and they were doing like a Black Friday sale. Um, so I did that. So now I can actually like apply to a bunch of jobs at the same time if they're in the area. So I, this is the first time me actually doing this. Um, and I did have another job lined up um, a couple weeks ago, but I kind of got sick. Um, and I kind of lost, I lost that job. They went with somebody else because I couldn't go, which was kind of a bummer. But there's, I guess there's always something else somewhere else. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that today. And then Maybe like go from there if anybody like wants to do anything we'll do it together or um, maybe I'll play some Rocket League a little later I just need to keep it real chill so I just recently um, 
my little like I kind of like a like an episode like two weeks ago um, and it's still kind of going on um, so <laughs> she's just like running and like skirting back <laughs> she's so happy um, so a couple weeks ago I was you know I've been like nauseous for like you know every day during you know last month and everyone's like, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? I'm like, oh, no, not possible. I can't be pregnant. <laughs> and, um, and then one morning, like, I felt, I felt really good, actually. I was like, oh, wow, I'm not nauseous this morning. Sweet. Go to work. Um, sit down with a new client. And I start, like, getting real, like, dizzy. Um, and then I started, like, I couldn't speak properly. My words weren't. And I have, a, I have a pretty wide vocabulary and I really like to dictate my words. Um, and I was just, and I'm still not like 100%. I still get jumbled occasionally now, which is kind of annoying. Um, but my words weren't coming out correctly. They weren't making sense. Um, like I've said the word hamstring a billion times. I couldn't think or say the word hamstring among other things. Um, and even my, even me writing or typing like those didn't make any sense either. Um, and I even tried to like text one of my coworkers, like, you know, help or like look at what I wrote. And that didn't come out properly either. So nobody knew like I didn't feel good or something weird was happening. So that came first. And then I started getting this like blinding headache. Um, and then I started physically losing like, like my eyesight. So I was, um, I'm a stretch practitioner, so I was working on this guy, um, unable to speak, tell him what I'm doing, and unable to really see what I'm doing, but I've done it so many times, I could probably do it blinded anyway, um, and he was being so nice to me, I think he thought I had, like, some kind of, you know, mental disability, and he was just being overly, overly nice to me, and even later, he would, like, sent an email, like, I had such a great time with Noelle. She did such a great job. I recommend my friends to come in. And I was like, oh, he's too nice. <laughs> um, but that day, I, you know, didn't know it was wrong. I kind of bailed, went to urgent care. They just gave me, you know, drugs for the pain. You know, they said it was a migraine, um, which I understand. I think it, I think it was a migraine. Um, there are other causes, and we're not quite sure, you know, why the symptoms were the way they were. Um, but that was that, and then, you know, came to find out later after taking an x-ray and some MRIs, um, I don't have a brain tumor, which is awesome, uh, no masses anywhere, so, like, nothing like that, didn't have a stroke, no damage to the brain or anything like that, um, but they did find several, like, herniations, um, in my spine, which most people have, but not at 26 and not with um, osteoarthritis. So I also have osteoarthritis in my neck. Um, so they're not quite sure why I didn't have any like major injuries or anything like that. Um, and they don't know why the, the weird symptoms. So I'm kind of still in like a limbo area trying to figure out what's wrong with me. And right now I'm having like good days and bad days and I'll feel good and then I'll go to work and then I'll do something and it'll just kind of set me back a little bit. Um, so yeah, so even like, I'll start getting like vertigo a little bit, even, you know, looking at the screens a little difficult. Um, so I don't really want to do anything with like a whole lot of movement or not for long periods of time anyway. Um, so yeah, that's my little sob story. Um, if you have, you know, any questions, feel free. Uh, I'm going to start booking up jobs <laughs> online. Um, to get some acting gigs potentially, so welcome. Um, and this is also, this mug I found, it just says weirdest on it, and it's got like a little heart on the eye. I just found this at a local thrift store, I thought it was like the cutest thing ever, so. And today I am drinking tea. It's not alcohol, so I'm trying to avoid the alcohol consumption. <laughs> okay, so you should be able to see my screen, so hold on a second. And voila. Okay, let's see, can I move me? Eh, it's okay. Um, 
Okay, hold on. Where Let's move the frame and video capture device. You're gonna sk oh. <laughs> and there's the other one. <laughs> Where's that one? Webcam. Oh, it's to move my camera. Oh, we're gonna, we're just gonna, you're gonna go away. There we go. Come on, friend. Good enough. Now we're just gonna leave nostalgic where it is because I don't feel like messing with that. Aha! Got a new camera too, which is pretty damn fancy. It's got like a little ring light. I can make it brighter just by touching it. We don't want to make it too bright though, because yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm on backstage, and it's just literally like you know, find how many cast calls and auditions near you. I'm just like, cool. Make it real easy. Skip intro. Gilmore Girls. They're, they like eat so, like their eating is just insane on this show. I'm this is the first time me watching Gilmore Girls and I'm about it. Also like I love Supernatural and Jared Padalecki is in here and when he realized that his name is Dean, is like they're eating tater tots on top of mini frozen pizzas. That sounds fantastic. Okay, so I'm a female. Oh, you can do all roles or voiceover roles too. Okay, so I, I have a pretty okay voice sometimes. Age range, I could play 100. See, like, here's the thing. Like, some of the stuff, it's like, you know, I could potentially do that. I could potentially play a 100-year-old. I could play an Asian or, like, I don't know. Like, even if you wanted me to do, like... I don't know what I can say and can't say, and I don't care. Did you read my disclaimer? I hope you read my disclaimer. Like, I could play a black person. Like, I could do anything. I could play a dude. I could, like, <laughs> I could technically do anything if I wanted to. Let's say, what's this one? What's the lowest? Not zero. I wouldn't say zero. Um, I'm going to say, like, oh, can I do an age or range? I guess I could do 30. I'm gonna say like 20 to 30. Sometimes I look like a baby and sometimes I look like an old lady. Right now I'm feeling like an old lady. Alright, select location. Let's see what we got in Tampa. I will travel. Nope. I've I've actually traveled quite a bit for the acting. So I've been on so far two TV shows and I was in like a magazine when I was a kid which I think we all were in at least something when we were kids because we were all cute at one point um or most of us were sorry <laughs> um, and the recently I was on like TV show um on Amazon Prime um The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel which I just that was my first thing that I did and I just fell in love with it in love um, and it was all like, you know, it's based in like, you know, the 50s, early 60s, a wardrobe, beautiful. Um, it was shot down in, my, filmed down in Miami. I was down there for three days and it was like one of the best experiences like of my life. I've made, I made wonderful friends, met so many people. I got to meet, you know, some of the main actors on the show. Um, Amy Sherman Palladino, who is the writer and producer of the show and Gilmore Girls, which is kind of how I got into Gilmore Girls now. Um, and then after that, I was just like hooked. I'm just like, I need more, I need more. Um, so that's when I got, I got picked for another role. Um, and just so far, just background acting, um, but it's been fun. And I don't know how to do this. <laughs> um, and like the other one I did was for, it's called The Right Stuff. And it's based off of, um, Tom Wolfe's book, The Right Stuff, or, you know, that, first time the astronauts go into space um so they drove us down to like 
I went for the first day I went, I knew I was going and I went down to Cape Canaveral and they held us there for, you know, a long time just to watch a fake, you know, rocket ship go up and down and explode, you know, and they're just like, they call out like, you know, 10 o'clock, you know, like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, 12 o'clock, and you're all the way up here just to watch the rocket go up. And I played like a, an aerospace engineer's um, wife, technically. Um, and then after that, they had like a rush casting call and, um, I, I just got like a text on my phone, like they need background actors. Can you come? And I was literally at work the same day and I was like, I'm going, <laughs> I'm leaving. Um, and I drove up, I was in Palm Beach at the time. I drove up two hours, um, to Orlando, stayed there until I think one or two in the morning and then drove no, later than that, because I got back to work the next day, and I got just got in at work. So I left, I think, at 4 in the morning, um, got back at 6, took a little nap in my car, and was at work to be there <laughs> by 7.30. Um, so yeah, it was so much fun. I just always wish I had, like, you know, it wasn't always just me, but I, I'm not not going to do things just because I don't have somebody to do them with. Anyway, um, so, can I see, oh, it's just me, okay, okay, so let's see what else we got, so jaw roll, all roll, I'm a lady, 20 to 30, I'm in Tampa, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna make this a little higher, let's do 40 miles, um, compensation, it's gonna be any, I'm not picky. Production type. Let's do a play, a musical, feature film, short film. I'll even do student films. I gotta do something. Scripted TV video, reality TV documentary, music video. Oh, I'm supposed to be in a music video too. I forgot about that. Um, or that's already been filmed. Just waiting for it to be finalized and finished. Demo and instructional video. I don't know what multimedia is, we're going to pick it, national commercials, local, uh, I don't know what spec commercials are, online, let's see, print, um, not tall enough, but, you know, I, I do, I can walk in heels pretty well, commercial and fit modeling, well, you could paint some abs on me, I feel like it would be fun, <laughs> promotional and event modeling, I am a dancer, but I'm not like a, like a trained dancer, choreographer. I used to be a really a damn good singer. Um, not really anymore. Can't do improv yet. Theme park, sure. Yeah, put me on a cruise. Actually, that would be fantastic. Ow, my friend does that for Disney cruises. She's like a Disney princess and does all of the, um, all of the musicals on the on the ship, which is pretty cool. She just like changes Disney princesses characters. Um, let's see, voiceover, voiceover, cool. Corporate and sure, sure. I'll do anything, friend. Except tech. Ooh. No, I'm not done. Writers, gigs, events, agents and managers, workshop, competition, festivals, and events. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's see, now, search. Oh wait, and it gets more in depth. Uh, all roll types. You know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna define myself. I'm not gonna not put no nudity there. You never know. Skills, I have many skills. This is the hard part. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. I play guitar. Is that a thing? Cool. Um, I do ballroom. I don't know if I could spell it. Ballroom dancing. I do Latin. Dance. 
belly dance. Cool. I do swing dance. Oh, let's see. I just put dance. Uh, I tried pole dancing a couple times. Doesn't really agree with me. Maybe some other day I'll try again. Um, I skydive. Or I can. Not a voice style husky. Hmm. I don't know if I describe my voice as husky, but it's definitely uh, like the more relaxed I am, the less I care, the deeper it is. If I'm like out with people, I'll be like, oh my god, hi, like a little higher pitch, which it can be annoying. To me, it is anyway. Uh, what about scuba? Scuba diving's a skill. I wish I had like a list of skills. <sighs> Sports fitness. Um, I started boxing. Sure. Um, I can rub my head and pat my tummy. Like what? I wish they had like a list and I could click on them more than just typing them out. Um, let me think. Fox. I have a bunny. No. How about a rabbit? No. How about dog? It's gonna be dog training. No. Anything with animals? Voice style an <laughs> Yep, can do that. Um, <laughs> I have a really good like a Japanese anime voice when I want to. Maybe someday I'll do it for you. Um, voice style anime. Oh, what was I just thinking? Oh, horseback ride. Horseback riding. Cute. Is Waltz in there? Huh. How about about second tango? Can follow tango, or just they won't know any better. I mean, what? I just they have every single dance. I mean, like. No, so no fox shot. How about salsa? Yes. Salsa, um, bachata? No, they don't care about bachata. They only have like very specific, like certain specific dances. Um, yeah, swing dance, sports, fitness, scuba diving, martial, anything in the health field? Cause How about like CPR? Aha, uh -huh. okay. It's like production crew. Let's see. Don't really know. What else? I can type. Voice style timid. Ooh. I'm just I'm just put in alphabets. Okay. A Kaido, no. I am not Armenian. I'm American. I can be angry if I want to be. Aloof? These are... Wait, no. There's so many. Uh, voice style attitude? Annoying? Yep. Uh, singing. I've been an alto soprano and tenor. So, how can you have an athletic voice? Is that like, like you sound like a, I don't even know. Wow, there's so many. This is too much. Aggressive. West African. Abrupt. I can't pick all the voice styles. I spent in Europe. <laughs> Watch any anime with an athlete. Yeah, they sound like this. I am. <laughs> like, 
I am going to kick the ball across the field. Ha ha. That's what they sound like. I put acoustic guitar on there. Mm. <laughs> There's so many things. Oh, voice style, passive aggressive. Absolutely. I am the master in passive aggressive voice style. Um, voice style attractive. I mean, duh. I can't pick all these voice styles. No, I'll stop. Um, Marshall, know it all. Definitely know it all. Uh, this is like picking out all of my little little quirks in here. <laughs> Definitely know it all. <laughs> okay, not like a bad translation. Eighty kung fu movie. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to look it up then because I don't know then I don't know exactly what you want me to hear standard American I am definitely I could I can do southern I can do pretty much so I lived in Tennessee when I was a small child that kind of swapped a little bit standard American how can I pick all these voice styles uh, Spanish like you can do Spanish all right, that's it for the A's. We're going to do all these. Ryuju Sakimoto. Is that a dude? Am I looking him up? I hope it doesn't show, like, my... Okay, not bad. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't show, like, my previously... Haha. Uh -huh. oh. Max Middleman. Wow, yeah, he looks, um... <laughs> oh my god, so much prawns. I don't know what prawns is. So Max, you want me to look up Max Middleman? And he is the voice act- Oh, does he do, he do One Punch Man? Just play a scene from Persona to hear his voice. That is athletic. Okay. Persona 5. Alright, let's do it. Oops. What's up, everybody? John Norton here. Your faithful Alice PR manager with none other than the inimitable Max Miller. Look, there he is. There's the dude. Yes, you talked to the entire thing straight. Yes, I'm calling. No, I don't want an interview, you dunce. There's a comparison. I think that sounds like the English one is the one I meant. Uh oh. So you think that sounds like an like an athletic that's an athletic sounding dude? Yeah, maybe I can't do that. His voice sounds nice though, which makes sense. He's a voice actor. I can do my dad is a um Lots of energy in the voice itself is athletic. Yeah, oh, who's calling me? Oh, what a surprise. It's mom. Hello? Hi. Who initiated the phone call? What phone call? Between you, Helen, and Zoe. Oh. 
Uh, Helen did. Yeah. No. Alright. Can I call you back in a little bit? Alright. Bye. Love you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm <all> <laughs> Yo, Alex, what's up? How are you doing? We're so bossy. So Alex, I'm trying to apply to acting jobs on backstage and I have to pick all of my skills. <laughs> oh, Alex and Blake are making a date. I'll just be over here. Burly, probably. <laughs> Burly? Okay, how about a burly voice style? Ooh. Brooding, laid back. I can't pick all the voice styles. We'll skip those. Badminton. I've done badminton. I do dance burlesque. Um, I'm still in bees. Voice style, big, booming. Nope. Nope. I do bake. I owned a bakery. That counts. Um, bite. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is voice style biting? You only had half of those voices previously. <laughs> Let's see. British. Baton twirling, not yet. Barista, no. Mountain biking, no. Bubbly, I can be. Not picking any more voice styles. I've never played bass guitar, but that's one of the easiest instruments to pick up. No offense. Not one of the hardest ones to actually play well. Uh, all right. Oh, so many. Concerned classy. I have to put that on there. Okay, but I can't. All right, I think that's that's enough for me. All right, I'm in the United States. Union status. Um, am I in a union? No, non-union. You don't want to be in a union. Not yet, by the way. Ethnicity. I am Italian and Irish, but they're never on here. So European descent, AKA white. All, right, all compensation, I selected all. Keywords, don't care. Save. Search a name. General search. That reminds me. I just watched Mulan. General remind me of it. The new Mulan with the real Mulan. It was awful. <laughs> it was really bad. Okay, so I got two productions in Tampa, Florida after my search. Um, okay, this is an audiobook and podcast, Good Ugly Things, a noir audio drama podcast. Casting for Good Ugly Things, noir crime audio drama podcast synopsis, 1942, and Hilda Graham just received an anonymous note about her father's killer. Soon after, her devious brother Frankie shows up to remind her of her promise of revenge, but fate has other plans for her when Frankie is kidnapped, and she must deliver a mysterious package for the biggest for the biggest hoods in town. Will she save Frankie and get back at her father? <laughs> Wait, no, what have I done? Will she save Frankie and get at her father's killer? Director states we're looking for talent who can bring out the level of drama needed to reproduce the energy found in noir movies and audio dramas of the 1940s. You must be able to mimic the acting style of that era. Hey. <laughs> do I get typecasted or do I get typecasted? There are 10 episodes of less than 15 minutes, so the roles are short reads. Scripts must include swear. <gasps> There's bad words. Sugar. All right. You know what? Voice style mature, cool, calm, sexy, commanding, classy, and velvety, and cool. Ooh, it's a work from home. Apply. Oh, wait. No, I'm not a male. No, no, no. Undo. Undo. Back, back, back. No. No, I applied for the... No. No. 
No, okay, it didn't do it all the way. Back. Oh, I haven't uploaded my uh, my headshots into here yet either. Okay, I'm not playing the butcher. Okay, here we go. Detective Fields. And that's it. Okay, I definitely am applying for Detective Fields. Why do you need a headshot for a podcast? Okay. Um, let's see. That's a good one, but I should definitely... <laughs> Not even one of my headshots. Because <laughs> podcasts are recorded in front of cameras now. I guess so. But wouldn't they want like a, an audio recording of me instead? Um, not going to... Wait, can I move this over? Come with me and we'll see. Yay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do I have any pictures of me and my Maisel stuff? I have so many photos of me like this. That's how I sit. Um, really nothing? Come on now. Nothing on my computer. I've got a butt on here. And cat bug! <laughs> I don't have cat bug on there. Um, oh wait. Where's my OneDrive? I have pictures on there. Mm -hmm. Go away, Mom. Because that's not a real headshot. How do I... Okay. I have to be able to get... Google Drive. I have it on my Google Drive. Why is it not showing? It's only showing music files. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Um, oh, yelled at me. I can't use that photo. I need other photos. I need more. I need more. I need it now. Um... I got them all in my Amazon photos. Wait, do I have that as an app on my computer? Aw oh, man, I lost a viewer. Damn it. Help me get to affiliate. Why? Because it's my next step in, in life, I guess. Um, where are you? Ha, ha 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 ha. Yeah, see how cute my mic is? It looks old timey, you know. You can't see it, but it's here. So right now I'm trying to find a headshot, which I had done. Stop yelling at me. Oh no. Yeah, I had headshots done a while ago, which I liked at the time. I don't really like them anymore. Um, I don't really think it, they quite captured Noelle. I was very uncomfortable. Um, I don't really like having my photo taken, which is kind of awkward because I want to be in front of a cam. I feel more comfortable in front of a camera than in front of a in front of a phone taking pictures of me. I get like, I don't know, I get weird. Um, so because of that, I end up not being very photogenic, um, unless it's more candid is a little better, but generally Noelle does not take good photos. Wow. 
Why do I talk about myself in the third person? Because there's the body, mind, and spirit. Or I'm just crazy. I'll go with the latter. All right, now I have to remember my password. Oh. Isn't there like, I don't know. Why do I have to remember passwords? Everything else takes my eyes, it takes my irises. You guys are pressuring me. I don't do well under pressure. Alright, now I gotta find my email, blah blah blah. Who texted me? No, oh, it was my mother. <laughs> Again. We're doing this together, guys. You're patient with me. I said this was a chill evening. change my password again. There we go. Ah. Yay. All right. Now I'm in. I think so far so good. Uh, where's Streamlabs? There you are. You only have time to write it. Uh, meow. <laughs> Send someone to take photos from the bushes. Got it. Or just get the people who already do that to share the photos. <laughs> ah, yes. Indeed. That's not creepy. And I have my window open. So that's great. What if I put up a photo of like, <laughs> like Moxie? <laughs> oh, calm down, friend. Oh, did something. Oh no. Am I freezing? Am I doing too much? Oh, there we go. I get too hasty. My click too fast. I'm just trying to open Amazon Photos because I don't want to put this crap <laughs> as a headshot. No, no. Oh, okay. Good thing I didn't put this on my main screen. <laughs> um, no reason. Oh. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, Amazon. <laughs> this is we're playing a very dangerous game. <laughs> All right, now where am I? <laughs> where are my headshots? All right, so how about, can I drag this photo over? I can't, damn it. <laughs> well, I have to download this. <laughs> so, um, my friend recently got married and I kept sending him um, photos of me in like ridiculous costumes. Um, and this was one of them. Like I was in a thrift store. Yeah. And guess what? Even better. Um, I bought this. <laughs> I have this onesie, this Curious George onesie, in my dryer as we speak. Because I needed to wash it. <laughs> I never 
for sure. Peace out. Oh, bye, Alex. Yeah, um, I'll be up a for a little while if you guys want to play Among Us um, a little later because I just got started. Oh. Maybe like, oh, like midnight? Oh, okay. I can do that. Thanks, Alex. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you wouldn't be surprised because I do, I do shit like this all the damn time. <laughs> So yeah, I was, this is a photo I sent my buddy and I told him I was wearing this to his wedding. Um, I was pretty close. I did wear a, did wear a red dress. Um, so I wasn't totally off by it. Um, let's see what else we got in here. So if you're just joining me, um, I'm picking out headshots for my acting job. But I can't show you the rest. <gasps> Move! Okay. <laughs> but I did download that, so that's fun. Alright, so I have a folder in here of my headshots. Oh, there's the ones I sent for the commercial I was supposed to be in. Uh... I wish I could show all of these, but I... <laughs> just can't filter them <laughs> like I'd want to. Is that a pink? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. Albums. Oh, I have, a mo I have an album called Model Photos. Oh, this looks good. Except I don't have my hair short like this anymore. But this is, this is probably one of my favorite photos of me. With Jess, I can look like that um, when prompted. All right, have fun, Blake. Tell me what drink you get. So yeah, this is, and this is, there's kind of a funny story behind this photo. Um, so I used to, <laughs> it's lemonade, sure it's lemonade. Um, I've managed a couple of escape rooms in my past, um, and this was the second one that I managed, the most recent one, um, and I, I needed some headshots. <laughs> so I took, so I was there really late one night, this was probably like midnight or one in the morning, um, and I was locking up, and um, the owner, if he ever sees this, hi Jared. <laughs> um, he was locking up and I brought a change of clothes I was locking up and I brought a change of clothes and I did kind of a photo shoot of myself in the escape room um, I made sure not to like give away anything like one does but I took some damn good photos of myself and I'm very proud this is one of a few and this room was like had um the bookshelf in the back I'm like leaning against a mirror which was really cool also really like photography <laughs> yeah um, and the best photos I have are usually the ones that I take of um, myself so there was that one and then you know I have different versions of it so like I thought that looked pretty badass so I'm like mm. Again, my hair was cut real short, and that was for Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which I actually kind of miss it sometimes, but it was a pain in the ass to, to deal with. Um, but I could definitely, I'll download that one I can use for a headshot, because that's really good. I get compliments on that pretty often, which makes me feel good. Download. Add that one in. No, no, no. Oh my god. So I ran out of USB ports in my computer to use my mouse. Oh my. So now I have to use my trackpad, which I forgot how much I hate using my trackpad. I think this is it. That was the most recent one, so yay! Okay, so I did that one. 
Um, and I have like actual headshots, which I thought I had on Amazon, but maybe I did it to Google. Uh, like I could maybe just use that one. I only need one good photo. Oh, here there. Let's see. Yeah, so like, I just, I really like, I feel like I like like my prominent like chin and I like my face looking slim. So these don't really showcase that of me. I lose yeah so like here's this one of me which I'll probably just use but I don't really I don't really like it that much <laughs> like there's not a lot of like I could use I could have used a little bit of editing like my lips were chapped I have flyaways everywhere um, and I guess it's good because that's pretty much me, like, um, without any frills. So I'm going to add that. And you kind of get more of, you know, my, my torso, which I guess is good. And then I don't really have a full, oh, can I only upload one? Okay. I don't really have a full body shot of me. So you can see everything. So I think that's good enough. This one. Let's see, good. Alright. Um so just okay, so just the profile and the photo were mandatory or required. Which I have uploaded. So I can upload audio and a resume and a cover letter. What and videos, like I have to make um I have to make like a demo video of myself to be able to send to people. Um, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. So maybe I'll talk, walk, maybe you'll walk with me figuring that out too. Success. Oh, and I get $30 if I refer a friend. Oh, I get a $30 Amazon gift card for every friend I refer. That's wonderful. Great. You apply to Detective Fields. Awesome. All right, so there was another one offered in Tampa. Let's see, and this that's other one was like video production, I think. Wait, no, where's all my search? Be slower, please be slower. This is all I need. I think it's kind of cute. I'm like leaving like lipstick imprints on my mug. Maybe I'll sell those for people. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, what?
He said be slower. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank thank you. Even even more slower. Even slowerly. Look at look look how cute look how cute this rabbit is. I can't she's like she's on the windowsill. Damn it. I can't see her. It's too short. She's on the windowsill. Oh, there she kind of is. And she's just like peering out the window. <laughs> and it's adorable. Alright, why is this taking so damn long? Alright, we're gonna exit. Ah, oh, oh, snap! You should add a Mia cam. I would add a Mia cam. Um, but she's never in the same place. So I'm not quite sure how to, how to have a Mia cam. It'd have to be like a GoPro on her head. <laughs> like. <laughs> Alright, this is the other thing. Um, oh, a feature film, Foss the Devil and Rock and Roll. Okay. Production description casting. Boss Devil Rock and Roll synopsis. A declining rock star puts the band back together and hits the road for one last chance at fame and glory. Along the way, he falls for a young preacher's daughter, has a sexual encounter with his best friend's pregnant fiance, deals with intense emotions about his dying mother, finds his passion for music again, struggles against alcohol addiction and suffers from visions of the devil and possible insanity. Foss the Devil and Rock and Roll combines the imaginary and music of death metal, goth metal, Christianity, the occult with the intense sexuality, emotional violence, and fundamental story dealing with trauma, abuse, ambition, and love. That's intense, and yes, I will apply to this. <laughs> I could do that. I could put it by the window. I just need more USB ports. All right, Jonathan and Susan, Pandora. All right, so Susan, in some ways, the preacher's daughter Susan is an Ophelia type character. Oh, minister from a razor form of strict Christianity. Wow. Oh, it's a oh, it's a musical. Ooh, the devil is all genders. Wait, is this all work from home? What is this? It says feature film. I don't know. I wonder, can I apply for multiple? Cause I could apply for the devil. Appears in various forms throughout the story that might include male, female, or creatures of ambiguous sexuality. This is getting weird. Devil torments, seduces, attacks, and sympathizes as fits the situation in the goal of the scene. The devil has an absolute psychological reality for Foss, and other levels of reality are never established or refuted. In spite of occasional playfulness, there is nothing campy about any of the versions of the devil that are played in the story. The devil will not be played by only one person. Cool. Toby, Mary, okay, too old. There are two young, there's a young one. Okay, so how do I, can I apply to a few? Okay, so I'm going to apply for Susan first. And then... Oh, I don't have any audio or video. Anything I don't have to, so I have to, I have to make, um, an audio file to apply with. That's good to know. Um, maybe, maybe the devil will let me. What time is it anyway? Eight o'clock. Yep. Time for bed. Um, yeah, so I need audio to apply for this one, so I have to put that on my list. 
I move my Alexa so I can't tell her to tell me what to do later. So to make, I wonder what you need. I guess it has to be, I wonder what they're looking for. So these are the questions. Right, you can probably, I know I can probably attach an MP3 file, but I have to, I have to do a recording of me, um, probably talking, singing, doing a couple of things to actually like apply for the, for the job for. Oh, here, advice and guides. Let's see what the World Wide Web says. Your fellow actor needs to know, what is a pre-screen? You no, know, seven tips how to stand up community to be funny without being offensive. Well, that's not funny. The biggest mistake actors make on self-tapes according to casting director. Um, no, I need... I need something with voice advice for live virtual auditions. Wow, this is, I gave you a lot of info. While you're struggling to create during the pandemic, let's transfer over to voiceover work. Oh, wow. Top five things casting doors so far in a self tape. So, usually when I was getting the magazine that my client was giving me, all these were like articles in the magazine, but they, and you get them each issue, they're all right here. Like, this is fabulous. One way to get a film made. Wow. Anxiety free self tape. This is probably good for um, you creators out there too, actually, when you're streaming. Art. Technicalities. Yeah. Craft. Combine both art and technicalities. Good. Oh, and that's it. There you go. You're welcome. So I need something for um, creating an audio file. Three money principles. Actors can learn from Shakespeare. Wow. A surefire way to ruin your headshots. Oh. I'm sure I've already done that. Deer in the headlights. You're promoting yourself as an actor person who gets paid to make audience feel something. Photograph with you with no personality is going to excite anyone. Yeah, so I do have a couple photos of me making a fish face, so to me that's exciting. A distracting background, bad makeup, distracting wardrobe, bad lighting. So yeah, it just needs to be clear and concise for a headshot. But not, still not what I'm looking for. How to choose the right social media platform for your content. Okay. All right, people visit Facebook to get their quick fix of what's going on on their phone to kill time when they're waiting in line or communicating, which means photos and short videos work best. They're easily consumable on the go. Short sketches or teasers for your long form content are perfect here. When it comes to Facebook content, people are easy to share and that makes them look good, funny, etc. It works great on Facebook. Feed is this type of content makes users feel in the know and clever. Hmm. YouTube. People come to YouTube to search for answers and entertainment, which means visitors are ready to spend time watching videos and usually end up watching more than one. So if you're thinking of hosting your own show or creating a series, YouTube is the perfect platform. Okay, cool. Instagram, if you enjoy photography and filming short videos that don't need much editing, Instagram is the right place for you. Your profile should serve as a gallery of your best photos and videos where you can use the short stories and function to share inside glimpses of interior life work and processes. 
So, like, if you're a streamer, you can use all these medias, but you have to, um, you have to cut your videos depending on what platform you're streaming to, is what it sounds like, because you could do, I mean, you can use all the platforms, but it looks, you know, people aren't going to necessarily watch what you're posting on every platform. Um, and then Twitter, networking, catching up on the news are usually the most common reasons for people to use Twitter. To get creative on how to use this platform to build a fan base, use your sense of humor and comment on and engage with tweets and conversations that interest you and are on brand. So you as an actor and creator, pick a few topics. Okay, very cool. So Facebook, short and sweet. YouTube, lengthy. Instagram, short and sweet less editing and photography and then Twitter for more like news and blips. Kind of cool. Okay. Try to answer. Avoid losing yourself in Oh, avoid losing yourself in a character. Huh. Um Nine posting rules for headshots. Okay, but what about for creating an audio? December 2024 scopes for actors. Well, let's see. All right, guys, ready? So I'm a Scorpio. My birthday is October 26th. Don't forget. Okay. Scorpio. So many artists think of business as a burden, as of making money is the antithetical to the create to the creative process. But money is just energy that reflects your values. Someone playing for your art, product, or service means they're ready to receive your wisdom and be transformed. This year has taught you the importance of your surroundings. The objects and people you interact with on a daily basis can have a massive impact on how you feel. Is true. 2021 wants to take an objective look at your upbringing so you can build something solid, durable, and authentic to who you are. Whether it's a physical home or a spiritual safe place, you know you need a strong foundation in order to thrive. This could not be truer for me because um, that's something I'm kind of looking for right now for um, stability and things. So, like, I'm very, um, like, free-spirited. Um, I'm always like flitting around all over the place, like doing a hundred things at, you know, the same time, very spontaneous. Um, but at the same time, I really like to have um, something to go back to, you know? So like, if I wanna like travel over the place, like having, you know, a, a whole home to go back to, knowing that like I have my spa safe space or like, knowing I have like a person to go back to, having that area of like solidity, that foundation, having my family to go back to. So it's kind of interesting they picked that because that's something I've honestly been talking about for myself and even like, you know, with, with the career and the job, like I love my job, but like, I'm always like, I'm always looking over the fence a little bit, trying to get something better and better and better every time. So that's kind of funny that they said that for my horoscope. Um, now is it slow again? Sorry I didn't read everybody's horoscope. I'm just kind of bouncing all over the place. <laughs> Book a job within the first 30 seconds of your reel. My actors still need to have a website. Okay. Still need to figure out what to do with my voice. TikTok fame could be your key to getting signed to a major agency. Hmm. Oh, okay. How to make your first reel. Sweet. This is what I've been looking for. All right, one of the most promotional is a demo reel. Okay. It's critically important to have a properly produced one. Why? I know. All right, should not, not be more than two to three minutes. First few scenes are often more than enough. What type of scene should be on my reel? Focus on showcasing your range. Now include four scenes from the same project, playing the same character. Pick the best 
one or two scenes from that project and then diversify. We want to see a variety of roles. To use scenes from past auditions. I haven't had to do any auditions, so that's kind of fun. And do not include anything you're not do not include anything you are not proud of or not the best representation of you. If you don't think it's your best acting, it probably isn't, leave it off. Okay, so trust your own judgment. That's nice to know. Then we're going to show you most remarkable qualities, matter, footage first, scenes with well-known actors. Definitely put those in, they'll grab our attention. So like, I have a couple scenes from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, um, which actually I have. Did I block myself on my computer? I didn't. Oh, there's Brandy. Hi, Brandy. This is my Instagram, by the way. Help follow me, please. <laughs> I got seven new followers. Cool. Um, let's see. So I have. So this is me on the Emmys. That's me. I was the bathing blue beauty. I was also, I freaked out. My uncle sent me this photo. I was in a bar and I just like announced it to the whole world that I was on the Emmys and that made me really happy. Um, there's a modeling shoot I did which I still haven't gotten all these photos back. Now I'm realizing. I used to ballroom dance. I'm not great at makeup but I did have fun doing this one with the Joker. Um, this is me on the cover of a magazine right there. <laughs> That's my head. Um, but I have like, I don't know if this would work for a demo, part of the demo reel. Cause I have to, you have to get like high quality. Here we go. You have to get a high quality version of it. And I literally just recorded it from my phone on the TV. So somehow I've got to figure out how to, I guess, download the video itself and then cut it from there. So like here I am here and then here, but it gets like fuzzy and pixelated and I'm shaking, I was just excited, blah, blah, blah. He was really nice. And then those are the two main principal actors and then here I am like swimming back here, <laughs> doing the backstroke and then here's like a full body shot of me. I'm a little skinnier now, which is nice. Um, getting in the pool, getting out of the pool and then me hurting the children out because the two of them were cursing in the pool. And then there's me swimming some more. By the way, they made us swim back and forth in this pool. I don't know how many times, but I was exhausted. But luckily they fed us barbecue after, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, and there I am swimming at the end again. Um, so like this would really be a good part of my demo reel, but the quality isn't so great, so um, Got to figure that out. And then I guess maybe doing like some monologues on top of that. Um, and make sure you include your name and contact info or your agent or managers. So I don't have an agent, which is something I need to get also. So I don't have to hunt for things. And then they get commissioned with whatever jobs I get anyway. So I don't really have to pay out of pocket for somebody. So that's kind of nice. Um, then get straight to the scenes. It's not necessary to do a collage of pictures or montage of quick moments or projects you have done. Keep it simple. Um, uh, can I? I don't. I can. I can download the episode from Netflix. I guess right or from Amazon. I can download it. I think I can. I don't see why not. Um, real should look as professional as possible. If you know how to edit, go for it. Otherwise, spend the money, have it professionally edited. How do you create a reel if you don't have a number of credits? That's the question I've been asking myself for quite a while. Um, if you don't have a lot of scenes from movies or television, you should create scenes to be filmed. Okay. All right, so get a couple of actors together and write a short scene. Get a good director and cinematographer who knows how to light, film, and make sure the sound is great. 
Um, so Blake, I'll be using your <laughs> your uh, green screen <laughs> to make to do a little short film. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make one, is what it sounds like. Um, so I actually get like a full demo reel. Um, student films can also be a good place to get some footage. Yeah, um, it is. You you don't usually get paid for student films, but yeah, you can actually get your face out there, which is nice. Just make sure that they give you the footage. Yeah, it's an important part of your toolbox. Have fun. This is probably him repeating everything I just said. Okay, so gotta make a demo reel. Um, I don't have a lot of like FaceTime, um, so I gotta download the episode of me in it, cut it, um, edit it, and then maybe do like a couple recordings of like a short film. Um, just offhand or a couple student films to have more footage for. It makes sense. It's it's gonna be good. You could use the escape rooms for the scene. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Did you see earlier the photo I took of me in the escape room? <laughs> I have like a few and like all the different all the different rooms I took photos of me for headshots um, in uh, Jared's escape room. <laughs> And they came out wonderful. So that would be a lot of fun. Actually, that's a great idea, Blake. <laughs> you could... I mean, you've done... You've written your D&D. Write me, write me a short film, Blake. And I'll be your leading lady. Uh, let me... Your comp card stand... Okay, that's a thing. So you make, like, a, a card headshot of your face... Um, and then you put your resume on the back, which I still haven't done yet. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying to find how to approach acting in a period piece. Headshots, COVID, late bloom, <laughs> a late bloomer's guide to launching your acting career. Wait, is that like a late boomer or like does 26 count? The new place is like movie quality. Yeah, I haven't, I've seen, I've only seen what you posted on Instagram with a couple photos you've sent me, but I'm excited. Are you all done? Are, like, did you open the escape room? Are you finished? Study, build your resume, invest in a professional headshot, did that, do your research, dead, blah, blah, blah. Important, but I'm not going to talk through it. The 15th, Okay. So that's my grandfather's birthday, the 15th. And your mom's the day before, and I'll never forget that. Side. Um, what else do you say? You don't dialogue. You do too dialogue well. I've read your your D and D things. Just like think of a uh, think of a short story for one of your. I mean, you do this all the time on the fly. <laughs> think of a short story for one of your escape rooms. Um, and we'll just like, we'll do like one scene or something. Oh, great comedic monologues for women. I wonder if I can put that in the, a reel, just like a monologue. Monologues are really hard to pick, um, because there's like, I mean, there's so many, but people tend to pick the same ones all the time. Um, and then the people you're auditioning for, they just get so bored and literally they will tune you out um, when they go, oh my God, this again. And they'll just be like, okay, thanks, bye. Because it you know, showed you like not creative. You didn't like do a lot of research in it. So like picking a monologue is really hard for like your auditions and stuff. I don't write dialogue I can write a hell of a plot you know if you write if you can write a plot I can do dialogue because I words good sometimes I'm rewrite some Wallace Shawn oh see like look how look how specific these are so these are out of a couple TV shows and these are comedic ones I'm gonna save this I'm gonna make a new folder can I make a new folder new folder um, 
connecting. Saved. Okay. Insecure berry. I've heard berry's really good. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, they have the good place. The Eternal Sheik, Cindy and Eleanor discover that only the way to save their friend Michael's from hiding from the bad place to de deactivate Janet. <laughs> that was a really funny scene. How did how it exactly? <laughs> oh my god, that would be perfect. I love sci-fi. It's her AI-like voice and a stream even emotion. I don't know if that would be great for a monologue, though, to have, like, a monotone voice. I don't know. If you've seen the show, I'm sure you'd get it. Oh, Lily Tomlin. She's hysterical. Um, known as the greatest female comedians of all time. Really is. She doesn't give a fuck. That's awesome. Wow. This is such great tools on here. And, like, actually legit, they actually tell you stuff. Sometimes I'll be like, you know, ten ways to, you know, get somebody to fall in love with you. And it's just, like, bullshit. But this is actually giving you some good advice. Jason Sudeikis, their best comedy writing tips. Okay. <sighs> phrasing. Oh, phrasing is very important for singing. Um, but I need, I need the voice. I need voice actor. Well, oh, wait, your VO reel. Voiceover? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah! Found it. Okay. I'm gonna bookmark you. Uh,. Blake, remind me what all your new rooms are. So I know you have, I think I'm still missing one. You have this, the haunt, the scary doll haunted room. You have the philosopher's stone, Poseidon. And I thought there was a fourth one. Um, but I don't remember what it is. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there were only three. Okay, right, how to get your VO real hard. Um, all right, first create a demo that is authentically you. We live in a world driven by carefully calculated, constructed images, it's not for social media. It's important to find the urge when creating a reel. Bottom line is there's no perfect formula for this process. It needs to be organic and driven from inside. What makes a demo stand out is the ability to translate who you are, where you're at, and what drives you into a recording that may may sound over the top to put at that level of storytelling into an ad copy but it's what separates the artist from the average okay choose pieces that showcase all the unique facts of your personality allow them to radiate from the grounded place deep inside and let your energy wow i feel like we're in a meditation let your energy infuse them with a reality that comes from a vulnerable connected place it's not that different from creating a character for stage or film. In fact, some ways the reliance on just the voice makes it even more important. Okay. Work with a great engineer and team of coaches and pay attention to the nuance and help tease out all the levels you innately have inside. I have a few, I have a few levels. I call myself an onion. <laughs> Good connection with your engineer. I don't know what you're talking about, engineer friend. If you've done step one correctly, it's that you'll feel vulnerable, filled with fear. Face your fears. Fear of rejection. Always. Fear that you're overexposed to authentic self. Nah. Uh, make your blast interesting. It should be also meticulous. Um, but, but how? We're gonna watch you. Alright, you're only a minute long. Again, if we're speaking about breaking in, the critical demo reel is the commercial one. That's the one that speaks to all agents. That's the one that actually speaks to buyers and Stop casting people. Um, if I am going for a narration job, but I actually have a commercial demo reel, they're fine with that. I don't have to have a narration reel to get a narration job, but I do have to have a commercial reel to get an agent, oh. to get casting people interested, to get a buyer to, to hear the... The, the array of my voice. Now, a demo reel is a very critical aspect, especially in today's market for voiceover. 
you do not want to skimp on a demo reel. You want to get a director that works in the industry oh. and you want to get an engineer that also works in the industry and they actually do demos on the side. Because a demo is not about showing off your range and your voice, it's about how you fit in the marketplace. And because that demo reel is what an agent is going to use as a guide to get you auditions. <laughs> So you gotta pick good stuff and record yourself doing it, I guess. And maybe, I don't know if you're like, I guess you also record your face when you do it. Huh. That's a lot of info. We're gonna apply for a couple more things, but I wanna make it more broad. I still wanna do age range 20 to 30, and I'm just gonna do acting, um, so they just take headshots. Um, I'm gonna do Tampa again, but I'm gonna do a wider range. I'm just gonna like, like do two, 170 is about three, Two and a half hours. I want to do 200. All. Any. Search. Select all. I'm not going to add skills so it doesn't specify me. Um, non union. Maybe this will give me a few more options to apply for. Oh. Oh, this one's also a workshop. Cool. Two day online animation voiceover intensive with top VO agent. Uh, wow. Oh wait, this isn't to apply. This is for help, right? Men's wellness testimonial. Wait, is that one paid? Nah. Um, wins hair care product review. Yeah, until my hair falls out. Someone tried me to get me. Okay, that reminds me. I had a client come in the other day telling me. <laughs> I was just reading the second bedroom diaries. People in need of sex coaching. Most of us need sex coaching. <laughs> um, but I had a girl, she came in she's selling it's called like Manet um, and she was like yeah I made so much money selling Manet and it's so good look at my hair my hair used to be this and now it's this and I'm like wow that sounds really cool you made how much doing that whoa that's crazy you know and you're always thinking like yeah what's the catch like what's the catch um, and I went home and I started researching and apparently Manet is under several lawsuits um, for having women's hair fall out. So, <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> but bedroom diaries, people need of sex coaching. So I would need, first of all, um, so <laughs> first of all, I'd need a partner for this one. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> right now I'm kind of, um, taken a vow of chastity unwillingly so <laughs> uh, but that's funny free zoom class pass 2068 feature some noxious uh, North Carolina oh see is that 200 miles away I don't know um this one's work from home ads and promos confident content creator makes social media ads no, a Rhapsody of Cosmic Love. So, oh, utilizing Skype or Blue Jeans or Zoom. Okay. Can I just hit apply? Apply. 
Don't pop me out. Are you gonna pop me out? Oh, come on. Wow, this is annoying. Oh, see. No video or cover letter. So I have to find, I have to make a video and I have to write a cover letter. So all these things need very different things. I wish you could like change what you can use to apply with to make things a little easier. I haven't gotten anything yet from backstage. Tech, blah, blah, blah. Harvard student film. Okay. Um, seeking a video editor. Technically can, don't want to. Two week, I, I gotta narrow it down just a little bit, I think. Um, let's just do film and TV and commercials. Anything not taking my picture or going on stage. Ah. I do like being on stage, but I really like I really liked being on film. It's funny because like I never thought I would be doing this even though I've always been very um, dramatic and on stage most of my life. <laughs> never thought this was where I'd actually end up. Alright, so I'm a lady. So, <laughs> casting men. Does this, does this search engine, does this work? Like, um, no, did I apply to this already? No, it's in Charlotte. Wait, see submissions worldwide. Is a TV video? Yeah, but if they pick me, it says it's not paid either. <laughs> Confident creators to make social, no, teach. A Ringling College of Art and Design short film. Oh, Ringling's here. Oh my god. Yes. Rolls, Edward, and Benjamin. Both dudes. Okay. So, still not a dude, even though it looks like they're getting more rolls. Real sisters who wear contacts. Casting real pairs of sisters for a contact delivery service ad. <laughs> Models for body skin cream. I have a body and skin. Suits in LA, no. Divorced and dating. Uh, the divorcee dating project, ooh. Dating after divorce, dating divorce, personal product. Visual podcast with HR and compliance. Out of breath. Okay. Um, work from home. Seeing people with sleep apnea. Nope. Willing to shave head on camera. Oh, it's in LA. Okay. I was about to think about doing it. Uh, the unfortunate life of Gerald. Poor Gerald. Work from home. 25 minute dark comedy shorts. Okay. Follows Gerald's attempt to win over the girl with dreams. Self induced problems that occur along the way. Looking for Lauren. Supporting female 30 to 55. I can lie. But what are you asking of me? Apply. Apply. Oh, baby, you're so slow. No wonder I just have one viewer. Okay. Come on. Oh, Blake sent me something. What you got? All right. Let's. I should take my time. Ugh. All right, I need a video and a cover letter. I can't apply to anything. So, um, 
All right, so acting in your video, I mean, obviously, they're gonna wanna see you act, doy. All right, so that's gonna be my next step, is I have to make um, a demo reel. this movie. No. Who are you? All right, people, let's do this one last time. My name is Peter B. Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive spider, and for the last 22 years, I thought I was the one and only Spider-Man. Pretty sure you know the rest. You see, I saved the city, fell in love, I got married, saved the city some more, maybe too much. My marriage got testy, made some dicey money choices, don't invest in a spider-themed restaurant. Then like 15 years passed, blah, 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 super burn, I broke my back, a drone flew into my face, I buried Aunt May, my wife and I split up. Aww. But I handled it like a champ. Because you know what, no matter how many times I get hit, I always get back up. I got a lot of time to reflect and work on myself. <laughs> Did you know that seahorses that they mate for life? Could you imagine a seahorse seeing another seahorse and then making it work? <laughs> she wanted kids and it scared me. I'm pretty sure I broke her heart. Flash forward, I'm in my apartment doing push-ups, doing ab crunches, getting strong. When this weird thing happened, and I gotta say, weird things happen to me a lot, but this was real weird. in New York, but, but things were different. Also, I was dead and blonde. I was kind of perfect. It was like looking in a mirror. I have a feeling that the thing that brought me here was the thing that got him killed. You want to know what happened next? <laughs> me too. Not gonna lie, it's probably it's a decent monologue. <laughs> I'll think about it. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can send another one or this one, but you have to make some adjustments. Start around fifty-eight seconds. Spider-Man theme. Not mad, just just curious. Oh, he said 56. Oh, Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. Means another another dimension. Means another. I'm from another dimension. I mean another another dimension. All right, people. Let's start at the beginning one last time. My name is Gwen Stacy. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And for the last two years, I've been the one and only Spider Woman. You guys know the rest. I joined a band. Saved my dad. I couldn't save my best friend, P. 
Peter Parker. So now I see everyone else. And I don't do friends anymore. Just to avoid any distractions. And one day this weird thing happened. And I mean like really weird. Blown into last week. Literally. I landed in New York. I love the ballet slippers. I'm not in New York. My spider sense told me to head to Visions Academy. I wasn't sure why until I met you. I like your haircut. You don't get to like my haircut. Let's go. How many more spider people are there? Save it for Comic-Con. <laughs> Save it for Comic-Con. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I could go into so many. Uh, why? Oh, my God. Uh, don't get me on a YouTube binge. I'll be here forever. So... I like both of them. Um, I don't really know what makes a good monologue. So, like, I'd be recording myself um, doing it, right? So, like, in this scene, like, she's being a badass. She's, like, running around and, like, doing fun stuff. Like, you kind of just be, like, exp I don't know, because it's just, like, explaining who you are, you know? I want to look up... Really? Yeah, I think the first one really shows strong range of emotion. Yeah, I I like the first one a lot better. I actually want to go to maybe a couple of the ones um, that were recommended by um, Backstage. So where'd they go? But these are comedic. You did a voiceover for that second one. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. I, I guess for a voiceover, you you take the... <laughs> you take the... I guess you take the scene and just record over it. Um, but let's see. Marie and Bruce by Wallace Shawn. Let's look up Barry. Does it say the... You could do a voiceover for the second one, as if you were the original voice actor. Yeah, so I could definitely do that. Um, that would be good. If I do, I'll just do all, maybe if I do all Spider-Man, like, themed monologue and voice acting, maybe they'll put me in a movie. <laughs> maybe they'll, they'll find some Spider-Man themed jobs for me. I'll be like, look, this is all I want to do. This is all I ever want to do. Just please cast me for Spider-Man themed jobs. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I don't even care which Spider-Man at that point, if that were the case. That's how serious I am. Oh, she's on the ledge again. So MJ is going to be back too, by the way. What do you mean? I saw an article saying they're all talking, taking up their old roles. So, like, Kirsten Dunst is going to be Mary Jane again? Is that what you're saying? I want to read this article. What is happening? That's crazy. When is this happening? <laughs> I'm going to look up some of these monologues, see what um, Backstage recommends. Oh, I can't fudge you. What are you doing? Funny bunny. What would you say? Yep. Oh my god. That's awesome. That 
after I see that, then I can, I think I'll be able to die happily. Which I'm pretty close right now to death, so it better happen soon. Yeah, are you being weird? I guess. Hello, volume. Listen, man, I'm dead, you're dead, we all died, and now we're killing her. Pay it forward. Uh, no, that's not what that means at all, Eleanor. Okay. Here we are. Here we go. Just press that button and it's goodbye, Janet. Uh... Chidi, I can see that you're worried, and I just want to assure you, I am not human, and I cannot feel pain. Uh, thank you, that helps. However, I should warn you, I am programmed with a fail-safe measure. As you approach the kill switch, I will begin to beg for my life. <laughs> it's just there in case of an accidental shutdown, but it will seem very real. Cool. So who's doing this, me or you? Uh, well, I, I, I think I have to. Uh, I mean, a bystander seems worse somehow. <sighs> okay, here we go. I can't die. I am simply an anthropomorphized vessel of knowledge built to make your life easier. Your pleading seems so real. Oh yes, it is a very effective failsafe. <sighs> you want a robot killed right? You have to do it yourself. Eleanor? Eleanor, no, 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 please, wait, 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 wait. Eleanor, I have kids. I have three beautiful children. Tyler, Emma, and little tiny baby Philip. Look at Tyler. Tyler has asthma, but he is battling it like a champ. Look at him. No, Eleanor, look at them. <laughs> look at them! Oh, Eleanor! Oh, it's so realistic! Eleanor, again, I'm not human. This is a stock photo of the crowd at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> That's right. It's not real. Let's just do this. Right. Please, I have so much to live for. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're not even near the... Hey, guys, what's going on? My party was lame, so I bailed. Then I saw you, so I followed you here. Oh, look, a button. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Death to Janet. See, these are. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to push that button. No, oh, cool, dude. Whoa, oh, what happened to Janet? She's, she's dead. I, I, I killed her. Not killed. Remember, Janet was not a living being, so she can't be killed. Attention, I have been murdered. <laughs> Attention, I have been murdered. Attention, I have been murdered. Attention. I have been murdered. Attention. What do we do, Eleanor? Run! What do we do? Chief, you just murdered Janet. We have to flee your crime scene. Run! I uh, that one was good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. <laughs> so these are these are comedic monologues. So I'd like to do. I guess I, I don't know. I don't really have a limit on what I would or wouldn't want to do. But like I'm. I feel like I'm definitely more comedic um, than serious for like dramatic roles. So I, I should definitely have a comedic monologue in there somewhere. Oh no, no starting to itch. Um, I gotta watch this one because I love Lily Tomlin. And if you haven't watched um, Grace and Frankie yet, it looks like you know an old lady show, but it's really funny. <laughs> And I'll probably start rewatching it again after I finish Gilmore Girls, which I'm just kind of like running through. Um, oh wait, what's the what's the monologue? I was like, uh, has a plethora of characters. Uh, one woman show has a plethora of characters now in the different shows. So this book. Oh, sifting through. Okay. Uh, let's see if they got some clips. Supernatural? What, a monologue from Supernatural? A comedic monologue from Supernatural? That would be fabulous. We have to find one. Hold on, I wanna... Oh wait, no, there's an excerpt that she did. Also, Emma Stone is coming back at. She's coming back as Gwen Stacy? Like, she's gonna be alive? Tina, hurry! Hurry, Tina! 50 inch! You watch your film! Quick in the back! Oh, 
this is old, it's quiet. No fucking watch Supernatural. This is Talk Radio 79. There's Lily. I'm Brandy. And this is Tina. Welcome to Mind oh. Radio. Oh my god. Hey, tape recorder. You're not a trick. <laughs> what are you, a writer? Tina, another writer type. You're the second one this month. Last one was more normal. Ended up wanting my life history on a blow job. What you said before, you wasn't interested with Patricia. Look, Blake, I don't want to watch. I'm not ready to watch Supernatural yet. All right, Kayla's already watched it. You already watched it. Everybody's just going ahead and watching it without me. This is all fine. Um, I'm already very emotional. I'm not prepared to cry yet. And I gotta finish Gilmore Girls. Like that's my that's that's next. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I know like. I'm very, I know I'm going to just ball my eyes out for Supernatural. I already started. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to watch it yet. <laughs> I really don't want to. <laughs> I can't watch it yet. <laughs> I'm already like getting, I'm already getting emotional just thinking about it. Are you in your home? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, she's in her little litter box. Hold on, I'm watching Lily Tomlin be a badass. Between my legs, huh? Just my life history? I got news, but between her legs is her life history. Ooh. Tina, well, me and Brandy got entrepreneurial plans. Telephone sex, we Wait, is that also no Lily Tomlin? Handy handy combat. Let's stop for a chocolate soda. It totally is. Jewish word for a hooker. Do you wish she'll be all different right, Tina? If she lasts. Look at the what purple lipstick. I could tell just like that which one will survive and which one won't. Like this dark princess belonged to this old wine old dude, Jim. Remember, Tina? The little takeouts for the Greek place over on 8? Mm. Him and princess like Siamese twins. The one long shower. They put Jim through the ringer. Go here, go there. Oh my god, she's he gets so good. Twist. He just keels over like that. You put too much stress on the human body, baby. It simply reveals. Oh, forget about it. Fade up. The medics come. They announce Jim dead as a doornail. They stuff him into one of those plastic body bags, like a garbage bag, but for dead people. Princess freaks. She runs up to the body bag, scratching and whining. Girl, girl, let me tell the rest. This dog with her bony ass gets the bag open, starts licking Jim's face. That old wino bops about the bag a lot. All right. So, so question. Question: If, if Lily Tomlin is doing all all these characters, but they're all different characters, but they're all her, is this technically a monologue? Because <laughs> they're all they're all her acting, or like, could you do a monologue and like switch voices? Would that count? Would that that would be way more interesting. Like their their accents are pretty close, um, but definitely have their differences. It'd be difficult, I feel like. But that would like that would be so so much fun. Oh, what Blake said, you could do all the Spider Verse intros, including noir. Yeah, that would be cool too. Though there's like so many options. Um, which I don't know. The the intros are fun. I, they have Spider Pig on there too, so that would be kind of cool. All right, so they're arguing about <laughs> about hookers. They make Jim go inside for a checkup, right, Tina? Fade in, fade out. Nobody around here ever sees Jim again. Maybe he died, maybe he didn't. I'm convinced we did him in, Brandy. He was being stuffed into a body bag while he was still alive. He came to, he thought, body bag, I must be dead. And the thought that he was dead could be the very thing that killed him. The mind is a powerful tool. Oh. Next day on the corner, <clears throat> I see yeah. Princess shaking. She don't know what hit her. That's the look on her face. So she's she like, knows she's more New York. She's what was that? A body in the street. The look 
people get when they give up. I said to myself, this dog is not going to last out here. Sure enough, she didn't. But Brandy, that wasn't she lacked for food, Tina. The Greeks fed her. I checked. Yeah, but what kind of food is that for a dog? Grape leaves and baklava. No, no, no. no. And she baklava. She that survival mold of me, too. Like you and me did, Tina. Yes, hold on. Yeah, but don't you ever let him put me into a body bag unless you're prepared to catch that ambulance, rip that bag open, and lick my face. He paused. Howard Johns, Katina Chocolate, 30 self-fried plane. Sure thing, and Brandy saves sex. <laughs> Don't get wet! Oh, it looks like Katie's wig was on wrong side of that. That's her style, she's something else. Here, go back around. You know, Brandy, but the riff that keeps playing over my mind. That dog knew Jim was alive, we didn't. Not those medics, and life and death is their expertise. That dog knew something about life didn't none of us know. You can't say that dog knew more about life than us, Tina. It's just that she knew something more about Jim. I know about life. I'm out here living it on a gut level basis. People don't make things forget it, because people don't want sex so much as they want somebody who will listen. Yeah, that's the first thing you learn after fellatio is how to listen. Just cannibal theory. He's so disgusting. You got a sensitive rider here. Look, he made me muss my hair. A bunch of us was down at the waterfront. This guy shows up sensitive type for. As I go for. He just talks. Thinking he'd do some hustling for himself through beauty school. Would I give him some pointers on life? Girl, you know, you're too open with people. I'm not going to tell his real name. So we're walking across the pier to this bar when his car pulls up. The sky wings out, he goes with a river bath, something, something. The river bath. I go over to the car. I come back. And the kid is standing there. Look at this look on his face. Like he don't know what he meant. Like you was to see, right before your very eyes, all at once, every sad movie that was ever made. This is the look he had. He was gay seeing it hurt him. I told him he heard wrong. The guy wanted directions for the Staten Island Ferry. The kid starts telling me, right, Tina? About this time when his dad caught him wearing his mother's bra and half slip. How ashamed he felt. I said, like the shame you felt just now. I told him, Gucci, whatever you... Oh, Tina, did I say his name? I said his name, didn't I? I... I told him the only thing he should be ashamed of was being ashamed. Brandy, you know, girl, you should hang out a shingle. She has helped me so many times. Anyway, I end up staking him to beauty school. My hair, before Bucci, I didn't have split ends, I had split roots. Isn't that so That's so split key. roots. He is now the top hair stylist at a certain fifth end. All right, so love Lily Tomlin. Um, she's hysterical, and this is actually a great excerpt from it. Oh my god, she was 54 in this? <laughs> That's crazy! And like, such an astounding actress. That's awesome. Great performance. Um, so I feel you could probably get the search for signs of Tom's life in the universe. Love that. Um, you could probably take anything out of there and it would be great. Let's check out Barry. It's on HBO though, which I don't have. Can you hear the bunny drinking the Wawa? Not images. You know I want a clip. I want a clip of it. 
Oh wait, was that it? Yeah, I'm too quick happy. Money's good. It's a job. Yep. Hey man. Are you seeing this beautiful morning? What are you doing? How are you? What am I doing? I'm set up here like you asked me to. Oh, right. Duh. This heat is urgent. This is Ryan Madison. Oh, this, is a, this is just a preview. I want the... I need a clip. Another promo. My queen, the lord, my my lord, the queen is dead. That's, I can't. I just I can't. I'm sorry. I, I just got the line. It's not even the fucking line. How uh, we do bro's cinematography in this episode is really good. I, my my favorite shots in the whole show is the shot of Sally when she's I doing her monologue. It. Her team is amazing. When I was in the wings, Barry's kind of freaking out. They're right there with you and they're like reacting. I'm just sorry you go to a place tonight. Okay. I guess I need HBO. Oh, it looks a lot. Sally reads monologue. Yeah. Okay. So let me go take that in. Read it. Hey, I you shit bird. You want a little pie? Mr. Kusno said I should um, pull a little mustard on pie there. I'm sorry. Can we um, can we stop? Sure. For a second. I just I feel like I, I need to say something very. Okay. This piece that I'm doing for class, it's exactly what I should be doing. Yeah, no, and it's great. What you're doing is... I'm terrified, okay? Because my piece is real. It's not a character. It's me. Raw, unapologetic truth with a capital T. In all caps, actually. I'm thinking like a writer now. I mean, this was stuff that I couldn't even talk about without lying. And here I am about to strip naked in front of a bunch of strangers and share something that I am massively ashamed of not literally i don't believe in nudity unless it tries the story forward oh i'm afraid that they're gonna judge me i i'm afraid that sam's gonna find out and, and, and do something crazy but i have to do this it's it's my story to tell but then so many other women have the same story what am i a spokesperson for them now could i be the face of the movement i mean what if i get it wrong i mean i resent the fact that nick can get up there and talk about his stomach condition and it's not like he has to be the poster boy for bulimia but i get up there and whatever i say it's like what are we saying about women? I mean, this is just my story. But what if you get it wrong, Sally? I don't know. You can't get it wrong, Sally, but you can't not tell it either, Sally, because it's who you are. Which makes this thing that my agent sent me on today so fucking insulting. Payback, ladies? It's just another shit nail idea of what strong women are. Oh, 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 grab a gun, and then in some stilettos you get a goddamn blowout. And look how strong you are now, Sally. It's bullshit. Which, by the way, so is this. It's quite possibly the worst thing I've ever read. But you want to know the worst part? You want to know what's really driving me fucking crazy? I am so jealous that you're reading for this. I have never had a director session for a feature, which is the same thing as a movie, yes. And I have been doing this for way longer, and I think you'd agree that I am way better. I made you, and I, I, I'm actually represented by Gersh, well at least I was, I don't even know if they brought me anymore after what I said in there today, but still, at least it helped me grab because I am an artist, okay, an artist, and this is not fucking art, but then, I mean, to be honest, of course, I'm so happy for you, I mean, of course I want you to get this part, and I, and I want to be the one to help you learn your lines and fix your inflections, but I need you to know that if you do get it, it's going to make me, like, like a hundred times more insane, okay? Continue. <laughs> hey, Ike, you shipper. You want to oh. a little Oh, oh my God, that was fantastic.
And that was in one take. I don't even... <laughs> this is going on our Emmy roll for sure. Yeah, but about the delivery of pie. <laughs> uh, I'm sure everyone's starting to do this one now after watching Barry. But I don't know. I mean, it's if it's in backstage, like, will people just, like, pick these? We can pick other parts of it. But that was really good. Oh, oh just screwed my neck up. All right, so I'm going to take um, a little break, um, kind of getting a, a little spacey um, looking at the TV for so long. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to break or I'm going to log off and come back. Um, but for now, I will be right back.
happen. Get scratching. Get scratching. 